Alrighty, good afternoon everyone. Daniel and I, we are back once again, getting ready for the second part of our schedule, which has been a daunting schedule to say the least. Oh, Daniel, sure. how are you feeling? Um, it's, I mean, I keep saying you can't top these games and they keep getting topped. So, I mean, I, and this is, this, this was going to be the game. This is my game of the day coming in. I'm, I'm sh I, I, Pretty, pretty sure almost everyone had that that thought JMU was good, so most of these coasts had this as their game of the day. But uh, I think JMU is uh, kind of cementing themselves as the title contender that we thought coming into the season, and they had a big win over Ohio, which was good. And uh, Penn State took Grand Valley to overtime, which was another uh, big win for them. So those were two of the kind of unknowns for the rest of the league coming in. But uh, that's right. I think they've I think they both made a point. Yeah, I think so, too. Um, you know, we also got to give a shout-out to Ohio State University. I think they definitely put, yeah. you know, some of the teams not from the Ohio region on notice. Um, hopefully they start earning, you know, some of the respect that they rightfully deserve. Because, um, like I said, pushing the team um, to overtime or close to overtime, you know, that's not a small feat. And, you know, regards to that, we also, we also got to talk about Penn State, too, because they could have, like, just folded after that tough loss um, against Cincinnati. But, you know, they put GB to overtime as well, so that's not an easy thing to do. Yeah. Um, but this game, this should, this should be something. Oh, yeah. I, I think this is the reason why you and I, we, we actually, you know, decided to give up <laughs> A good portion of our weekend uh, for yeah. this game. Yeah. And this, good... this this is this is the game I've, I want I want to do the most. So I did not expect there to be already be two overtime games and a last minute win, but here we are. This is what we want, though. Yeah, this is what we want. This is exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and just temporarily put away this crawl real quick. Try not to distract the viewers. It's kind of one. People to know what's going on periodically. We'll come back yeah, up. Yeah, we can throw scores. it up at halftime again or whatever. But, yeah. Agreed. Yeah, but, I mean, after this, we, we still got JMU Akron. I think Akron, Akron will come in hungry and want to, want to show what they can do on their home court. Yes. And the uh, last game of the day is well, we coming into the day, what we thought was the two best Ohio teams, but Ohio State might have something to say about that. How, how that after how they played this morning, I haven't been looking at what, what they're doing the rest of the day. But that's we'll that, see. that's a nice way to to end the day for sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that match I believe it went to overtime when they played the first time they played Cincinnati and Ohio. So nice. Or if it didn't, it was a close game. But nice. Fill my water and then we'll be off. Yeah, let me give me something to drink too. Yeah. My goodness. Where you miss your wife and you want a job. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we're getting started here. We got JMU Grand Valley, probably the two best teams at the uh, at the tournament today. This is my getting, uh, match of the day coming in, and it's looking like it's going to be the match of the day. Let's hope we've had three. We thought we had game of the year at the first game, and then we got the second game, and then we got the third game. So we have, we have three game of the years today. So uh, let's hope for another good one. We got Shadi coming back in. And we're off here. Uh, looks like Kirtland Eddie out on the out on the run up for JMU. Go for Grand Valley. Alrighty.
match of the day can go either way, man. Yeah. I, I think JMU is a more talented team, but uh, they are very prone to mistakes. Yeah. Grand Valley is not prone to mistakes. That's kind of their thing. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. You're going to have to earn it. Drop catch right there by GV. Yep. Wild throw by GV there. Yeah. Uh, you got Nick Spear on the corner on this side. Yeah. <laughs> That's smart with the cross. I mean. They got Ben Smart over there. That was quick. That, that's big for JMU. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, that's huge. I mean, not both these teams know who the other team's best player is. It's no secret. Yeah, I playing mean, playing a long time. They, yeah, both these teams, man, they're they're very familiar with each other. It's been a long time since these two teams playing against one another. Um, last time they played was last, not this past November, but last year. Um, at the GBBP second tournament. Yeah. I mean, I remember when um, um, GV used to travel out to JMU as well as Towson way back in the day. Yeah. Oh, they got oh, Owens, Owens out there. I think they got uh, Nick Spear in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Great trade there. Yeah. But I mean. Both of these teams are currently undefeated. I believe uh, GV is 2 0, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. JMU, JMU lost. They lost to uh, Penn State. No, I meant like undefeated as in today's tournament. Oh, today, today. I thought about this year. Okay. No, yeah, no, no, yeah. no, 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 yeah. no. No, yeah, GV is currently 2-0 in this tournament. JMU 1-0. and Yeah, Andrew is kind of in a tough spot right now. Yeah. Game, you seem a bit, they're a bit down men right now. I mean, Grand Valley's been doing a good job at this point. Yeah, and it looks like JMU right. plays just drew a catch. Yeah, I mean, JMU's got to, uh, yeah, they all got catches. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, we're, we're seeing the exact same thing that Penn State had to do against GB yeah. as well. And JT goes down yep. that exchange. You gotta watch that cross there. Oh yeah. Is that Ash on the far corner? Might be. Evan Eschenberg, Jason Ball, and Andrew Luzik. Oh, no more Andrew Luzik. <laughs> JV, I mean GV just, I mean sorry, Jamie just made a catch right there, bringing back one of their players. It does look like it does look like Evan. I, I see his style walking. Might be somebody else. Uh, no. Oh, he dropped. Oh, it. drop catch. It was right there. That was a quick point for Grand Valley. I mean, yeah, yeah, that was super quick. GM, you might be a little asleep. They've been off for a bit, but uh, they got to turn it up.
yeah, GB is one of those teams you really can't sleep on. I know that the nope. Dirty Terps, you know, one of your players way back in the set, way back in the day, to say they sleep on us. No, that was the saying. Yeah, that was the saying. Well, now, saying. now we're saying like <laughs> can't really be, can't be sleep right now. Not yeah, against nope. this team. Sure not. Yeah, that was. I was the seniors when I was a freshman, so a couple years back. Great times, man. Great times. Hey, we um, that was a good run of core finals at Nationals. Almost yep. knocked off Michigan State. Good team, man. Alright, and we off once again. See like another JNU players get killed right off the rush. Uh trade off the there's the trade. Uh, oh it's a trade, JMU okay. Got, no no he got killed and then Yeah, JMU got a kill back, so should be even numbers around that. Not quite as chaotic as the Penn State GV game. Ooh. Great catch by Nick Spear there. Yeah, must need to take it out number 60 over. Yeah, I believe that got back. I don't know, I can't see the number there. I think it might be Eli. Might be. Drop catch right there by yeah. uh, JMU on a right hand corner. Wow. Another catch? Yeah, it's another catch. I'm pretty sure that was, uh, pretty sure that was Andrew. Who caught that? Uh, it was the right corner. I could. It's hard to see. It's yeah, it is kind of dark hard to over see. there. It's hard to see the numbers, but yeah, it's a great catch for JMU. I mean, I'm, I'm, I said I'm speaking things into existence here. You know, <laughs> <laughs> gotta catch themselves out, and here they go. Yeah, we gonna ignore the times when they didn't do what I said, though. Yeah. Ooh, nice, nice cross there by right corner from GV. Oh, JT, the mean toss. The meanest toss. He threw it through from behind. Andrew loses it there. Did not see that coming. Oh, he caught Whoa. it. Beautiful wow. catch by GT. Once again, number 10, James Turner putting in that good work. Once he gets going in a transition game, he's kind of yeah. hard to stop. Yeah. He's not, as, he's not as hard of a thrower as some of the other guys on the team, but he's accurate. He's quick. That's right. Somebody's phone is going off. Yeah, someone's going <laughs> right there. Right there by the stream, too. Jamie's got to set up a team throw here. Was there three left for Grand Valley? Three left, it looks like. Yo, is somebody going to answer that phone? He's Oh, he threw. He threw a false. That that that's not never that for the plan. Yeah, that's never a good idea. He's a la lazy cross right at him. 
Oh, there you go, got him. And one man left for GV. Oh, one one. Well, each team had a very dominant point, so this could be a this could be a barn burner here. I might be seeing a lot of points in this game. I'm about to say, if GMU has a really good performance against Grand Valley, that's going to cause a lot of teams in the league to look at JMU very differently than what they have before. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people saw the... Uh... They saw the Penn, the Penn State game and just wrote them off. Yeah, pretty much. First term of the season, they sleep. I, I think I think a lot of people are sleeping. I, I don't know how they were at seven in the power rankings. Hey, hey, hey man, that's, like that's terrible, man. Dude, they they talked to me. I think I put them at three in mine, but they 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 talked to me privately, you know. After that match, there were some things that were said that obviously for. For integrity yeah, purposes, course, I cannot repeat. But um, they was like, just they were basically telling me, like, hey, just give us some time, we'll figure it out. Yeah. And anytime the, the you know the squad you know pretty much tells me that, I'm like, all right, let's. I I believe you. So, yeah. I mean, from from my, I always think JMU has the most dodgeball talent. Pretty consistently, I'd say it's just kind of a thing people don't realize across the league. At the East Coast, definitely realize it. JMU is always the most talented team, but they they rarely they, they don't put it together very often. But that's it seems, that's correct. It, if they can, if they can. They'll be great, but they gotta do that. They can't make mistakes. A lot of times they get cocky and then they uh, make dumb plays, throw catches, leave get exposed. Get killed and yep. Yeah, that's that's one thing, man. Like you, you can't you can't underestimate any opponent yeah. in this league. I don't care yeah. what their power ranking is, I don't care what their what their record is, you know, have the attention to, you know, play every game hard for forty minutes, fifty minutes, how long the game take, because you may never know. I mean, UVA, JMU is a prime example of that. Yeah. Okay, I think people also saw that and kind of wrote off JMU. Between yeah. that and the Penn State game, they were they thought uh, JMU is not a contender. Correct. But I mean, I get JMU is here, so we'll see. If they, if they can if they can pick up this win against Grand Valley, it's going to be huge. Yeah. Because anytime Grand Valley loses, everyone notices. <laughs> Doesn't happen often. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, time yeah. just ceases to exist. Still a lot, a lot of throws. Oh, he threw a Foss, yep. And, and he's... Then just, people, people are going to learn. Like, I don't just, know how they haven't learned yet. They haven't like, learned, man, because they, they don't know, man. Like he, I was he, he's, he's the best catcher in the league, like... Like I said, I, man, like I was saying beforehand, man, like... You know, like you said, dirty turds, man. They sleep on us. So yeah. people have been sleeping on floss. So yeah. I mean, you just can't. Don't throw anywhere near him. But yeah, I mean, people people gonna learn. I promise <laughs> you that. Like next tournament, next tournament, they're gonna be like, "Yo, should he worse?" Where's false at? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, just just watch JMU Instagram, man. They will tell you. Yeah. Nah, they don't hide on Instagram either. Nah, man. No, like, missed miss catch there for Grand Valley. Good kill for JT. Not, not a kill. risky throw, but would have been a tough catch. Yeah. I guess it was. I guess it was a solid. It was a solid burn throw, but he went for it. It was. It was. I mean, that's that's not a bad idea. Yeah. I would have done the same thing too, honestly. Yeah, Evan Eschenberg on this corner. Yup. And, and he gets a kill. B bad block in there. That was terrible. Luzik, and... Luzik was just watching. Yeah, yep. Ben Smart. Yep, Ben Smart is a gremlin. 
Gabrielle Gonzalez in the chat. Yeah. Ben, ben Smart, if, if you're lacking on the opposite corner, you're going to get crossed. Exactly. Exactly. And and that's why Evan Essenberg, he was so upset. He was like, yeah. dude, like, come on. He, he, like, turned, he turned to losing nice to him. And yep. That, that's not a catch. Exactly, man. Oh, oh, it's Gabby. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Drew, that was Drew Fung typing it in. Oh, my man, Drew! Oh, Drew, Drew Fung is typing in on, in the chat as Gabby, so. Nice. <laughs> nice, love to see it. Good oh. to see you, Drew. Glad you're watching, Drew and Gabby. Hi Deeds, hi Dan. How's it going? <laughs> oh. oh man. Thanks, Drew. I really needed that, man. I appreciate you, my guy. You always know how to make me smile and anyone oh, who Patrick knows has American here. Dude, any and anyone who knows me knows that I I hate smiling, so you can get me to smile. You're you're doing something right with your life. Yeah, and, and my man Patrick's now in the chat too, man. So, Patrick, are we going to see you? Oh, out? Michael Cohen. Oh, JMU runs deep in the chat. Oh, they're coming in now. They're, they're coming in. JMU they're, always runs deep. They're ready. They're ready now. Patrick, um, are you coming to the um, the Happy Valley? Is, if JMU is coming to the Happy Valley Tournament in December, will you be there, sir? Can confirm. All right, my man. My man. That's all I needed to know. Okay, we good now. All right, I'm going to get back to the game. Um, JMU currently, I believe, have man advantage. Yeah. JMU's been – JMU's kind of been sitting on the back line, but they've been picking them off pretty good. Grand Valley can't seem to get any – Oh, okay, Schaefer. Oh, 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 oh. What a play by Fred. Ooh, man, that's, shame for me. That's going to be all over Instagram. Oh, yeah, they they, they want that clip. I'm t They're clipping that right now. Right <laughs> now, as we speak. Oh, Jam, Jam, you's fired up, fired up. But that's a, Jam, you, Jam, you fired up. Sometimes they get too fired up, I will say. I know, but they – They got to keep their focus. They got that big – they got that big, what you would call it, energy. Good team throw. That's a kill. Solid. And that's a point. Wow. That's the second At time. 20 minutes, it was 1-0 Grand Valley. and 9.45, it's 2-1 JMU. That's a, that's a turn. Ladies and gentlemen, hey. that's the second time that we've Grand seen. Valley's, uh, Grand Valley, I'm sure they will uh, they'll make adjustments, though. That's that's the second time that Grand Valley has been trailing a team thus yep. far. First time is Penn State 1-0. Now it's James U two one. Yeah, be nice in the chat here. We got. Uh... This is just as long as everybody's being respectable. Yeah. That's all I ask for. That's the only thing I ask for is everybody be respectful. No, no polo shirt today. No, <laughs> no they're polo. Asking where, they're asking. They're asking. Where's my coach's polo? Not here today. Not here today. He's not coaching. He's not, he's not coaching, y'all. It's right here, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, not rocking the polo today. No polo today, y'all. All right, we got... I'm lining up again. <coughs> Nick Spear out? Oh, no. Nope. 
But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of surprised by GV already kind of having not one, not two, but three very close yeah. contested games, right? Like Ohio State could have pushed GV into overtime. Penn State did push GV to overtime. And a lot of people do believe that, you know, JMU being one of the better teams on the East Coast, GV arguably being the best team, if not the second best team in Michigan. Like, if I'm G, like if I'm GV alumni right now, I'm kind of like, I'm I'm kind of curious, kind of just scratching my head a little bit, saying, "Hey, what's what's going on here?" Yeah, I mean they've had two teams that coming in you would thought they'd be convincingly. Yeah, and they did, and both of those were razor thin margins in both those games, but they end up winning. And now they're playing JMU. They expect to be a good game. Now if JMU can beat them, then. Maybe Grand Valley isn't as good as we thought, but we'll see. Yeah. Never, never in my experience has Grand Valley not been the title favorite. So, even when Towson ended up beating them, which yeah. Grand Valley people will claim is questionable, which wh- whether or not it may have been, it happened. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's kind of like a thing. Like I do kind of want to point out because, like, yes, GV is playing their traditional style, but. We haven't really seen them really get challenged yeah. or pushed that much. And if Ohio State was able to push that team, which is not a bad team under any regard, they've been getting healthy, been watching film, been waiting for that opportunity, then Penn State's like, all right, cool. If Ohio State can do this, then we can do it. Yeah. And then, granted, the only loss that JMU has has been against Penn State. Oh, they just knocked out Owen there. It's a big hit. Another hit right there. Yeah, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna be kind of curious to see how the new power ranking is gonna look like if GV lose this game against JMU, or they even beat them in overtime if they even go to overtime, or even be in a regulation. They people gonna be looking at this team kind of differently. It's been a while since we saw Michigan State play, but for I mean, I'm looking forward to them. I want to see Michigan State play in, uh, play Grand Valley and then play JMU as well. Yeah, and I think they're going to play against GV probably maybe later on this year, if not November, most likely in December. Um, you know, because they're not that far. Like, Kalamazoo, Michigan is not that far yeah. away from Allen there. It's like an hour Oh, I'm sure they'll both be out there. Yep. And then Michigan State is probably like an hour and 30 minutes, so they'll yeah. probably meet up there before they get ready for the Michigan Dodgeball Cup. Yeah. Oh, Final Justice. Yep. Yeah, probably at Western Michigan. There we go. Yep, at the at the Peter Boer. Uh, Doctor Peter Bro, yeah. Sorry, Doctor Peter Bohr. Doctor Peter Bro, classic. Yep. Yes. The yes. First. Yep. Classic tournament. Yep. Most likely going to be in December. So that's probably yep. when they two are going to meet up. So I know they're going to be looking forward to that. Uh, JMU's got some numbers here. Grand Valley has the balls, though. They do. JMU, if they if they want to slow down the pace, they can. If they want to be a little bit more aggressive, they can as well. They have that luxury. Yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna have a bit of lag. Still good on my end. Oh, is it? Can you can you see me? Like I'm. Yep, I can see you just fine. Yep. Yeah, my, my view of the stream is a little bit laggy. Interesting. Or a lot laggy, I should say. Yikes. And that's the thing about technology, man. It's. Whew. Alright, Matt, just kind of did a reset throw. Currently 514 left in the in the first half. 
Yeah, I can, I can get a, uh... Interesting. Huh. That's weird. Lag is killer. Yikes. That's interesting because it's not lagging on my end. Can can you see the stream okay? I can see the stream just fine, but we kinda have like a similar issue like like last time we were doing something like this. <sighs> That's so weird. Okay. So Okay, so after this point, because we're most likely gonna be the four minute mark, I'm gonna have to just temporarily just stop the stream on my end. And then kind of like reboot it back up. That right, should yeah. fix the problem. Um, should fix the problem. Yeah. But that's weird. That's super weird. Because I'm pretty sure like you're watching the stream off of like your phone, not necessarily through the screen. Um, Oh no, I have it on the screen. Uh, yeah, I'm mostly watching on the screen. Right, like you watching it back at home. Yeah, I, I, okay, it's, I can see it better now. It's grainy, but I can, it's, it's moving smooth, smoother. Interesting. Yeah, no, it's 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 getting better. All right. All right I can see enough. All right, yep. James got to get his point here before half. It'd be huge. Yeah, if they get the point before half. That's definitely going to be. Um, a huge swing for them. Yeah, Shadid, it's, it's back fine now. I don't, I, I don't know if anyone in the chat can confirm how it is for them, but it's fine for me. Interesting. So I don't think you need to do any adjustments as long as... Yeah, it seems like it kind of just fixed itself. That's kind of weird. But... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Good now, though. We'll take it. All right, you know what? I'm leaving it alone. Yeah, yeah. It's like, we'll take it. It's fine. But, yeah, if um if, if the dudes are going to try to get this point, they got to find a way to... They got to push and not... and But they, they don't have enough people that they they can't make a... Make a, a a dumb throw and be okay. That's they don't true. They get Grand Valley a point. They got to be cautious here. Yeah, they can they can kind of sit on this two one lead right now. They don't feel comfortable forcing the issue. All right, time out call. One fifty left in the first half. It's uh, it's lagging again. Jesus. All right. <sighs> Fine. All right. So after this half, whatever reset you're gonna do. 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to stop the stream and do it again. That's fine. Ugh. Oh, good catch right there by uh, by Schaefer. My goodness. Yeah, that was a really good catch. Vanessa Bird does his throw on the right. Ooh, another catch, this time by Essenberg. They got to move quick here. Yeah, they do. Oh. All right, see him. Right. stop. All right, see him clap and stop. They got to stop the clock. That draw still should, that, that catch still should have counted, though. Clock still running. We're currently at fifty six seconds. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure they have a. Yeah. You know, I was wondering why it got quiet. Yeah, the stream readjusted a little bit as well, but I don't know what's all, what what is, what it's what it's doing. But I don't know either, man. This. Ignore, ignore the timer, guys. There's still time left on the clock. Three left for this. It's going to be hard for Jamie to get a point here with no balls. Just not enough time. Yeah. There's, they have three people, too. It's, it's enough that they have some padding. Yeah. They just don't have the time. Like, they need more. Hey, that, that's great for Grand Valley, though. Huge for them. One player left. Oh. No, two players left. Spoke too soon. They don't have enough time. Yeah, I think. I think. Yeah, it looks like they just ran out of time. Yep. They have right, one. Well. They, they have one play left to beat, but they just did not have the time to get them out. So it looks like most likely we're going to halftime. All right, so let me see if I can fix whatever issue is taking place. All right, we're off here. All right, let me go ahead and... Oh, there's... Uh... One kill on the run up. Guy turned his back. Never do that. Never do that. Never a good idea, man. Uh, so uh, they are? Are they doing? They're doing twenty minute halves now. They might be. I, I guess. I mean, we're 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 we are way, way over schedule. So. We're yeah, probably, we are. Probably, we're over an hour. We're over an hour late. So I guess it makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense to me. All right, so that's definitely less time for sure. Yeah. Eschenberg launching cross court. Yeah, we kind of need that camera up. Yeah. Hey, at least our camera's not on that side when he's launching cross court. Right. <coughs> uh, Matt over here on this corner. 
Yeah, he's just chilling right now. Yeah. A Tyler Peach went down a, a minute ago. Haven't seen if I, I haven't seen who went down. If oh down, no! Spoke so soon. They're moving it. They, they got. It. They got it. All right, it's not down. It just. No, it's just. It's just. It's been through a lot today. It has been through a lot. That tripod is gonna be no more after today. They gonna to have to get two more, at the bare minimum. One primary, one just in case. Always get three. Just. <laughs> we need more duct tape. They need more duct tape. You can't duct tape your way out of this solution, buddy. Now, nah, like, but well, I don't. That's. But like for real though, like what they think need. Grand Valley just got their first out of the point. Nice. But nah, but for real though, like what they need. Oh, uh, and he just drew a catch. And yeah. who did he drew it to? Oh, was that was that Foss? It was, man. Man, you can't throw near that. Like lit, just they should know. It's not. They they haven't learned. Oh, that's with the kill on Matt there. Off the toe tapper too. They haven't learned, man. They haven't learned their lesson. But like I said, when he can just focus on catching and not have to yep. worry about throwing, Jane, uh, you can. They they have a lot more um, if flexibility. I'm him, I, if I'm him, I don't even warm my arm going into the game. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, <laughs> like unless I'm the last person in, and even then, I'm if still going to try to go for a catch. You throw me then if, if there's a ball is over. Exactly. He may per he may purposely do a ball that's over just so he can try to go for a catch. So now they're using tape that we use. That's Mar the cross. Oh, gotta watch out for that. He just missed. Yeah. It seems like JMU still has man advantage. Yeah, they do. And they got out some of the better players from GV. Like they got Matt Owen and Tyler Peach. And you still got Ben. No, I think Smart. I think oh, no, Owen's on that side still. Yeah. You still got but, Ben uh, Smart too. Yeah, they got and they still have Ben Smart, of course. Yep. And oh. he should have not gone for that catch. Yeah. No, if you're Ben, you gotta just stay in at all costs. Exactly. The Thing way we were talking about earlier, just their presence. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. The way how we talk about Evan Essenberg, Ben Smart yeah. has that same effect for GV. Yeah. So. I mean, his he, crossing presence is uh, <coughs> makes makes the other corner scared. So that's what I'm saying, man. Like that left side is like you can't even. You can't the even left go to that. JMU can't throw without thinking about it. Exactly, not with confidence, and because Ben got out like so late within this point, it's going to be yeah, a while for him to get it's back. Unlikely in. he's going to get back in. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the odds. Not on that. Like I said, we was mentioning earlier that JMU has man adopting a new strategy. That's yeah. Been, that's been very. We we just have been used to it. Balls over. Balls over. Yep, yeah, it is balls over. over. And like uh, I JMU. said, and like I said, like JMU, they've been adopting a new strategy that Daniel and I we haven't seen ever. From JMU, but, yeah, no, that's that's something that a team like like Maryland, I always preach on the back line, but that's because we don't have the arms to be right. throwing. Right. But JMU has the arms, but they also have the catching, so. Right. I think I think they could just tailor their strategy to their opponent, which, I mean, it's been working pretty well so far. Exactly. And I think that's kind of took GV kind of off the guard a little bit because they're used to the JMU that's been aggressive. Yeah punishing their opponent this is this is what we we're used to like what we just saw right there just oh, that's a team throw yeah yeah i mean but now now they got the balls so Foss should not be throwing this situation give the ball to um luke Kurt, kurt's right there yeah give the ball to kurt kurt right there i promise you he'll be happy to throw yeah See? Yeah, there he is. There you know, he is. See, see, he already knows. See? Yeah, he knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Hurt the meme with those crosses. Yeah, he is.
Looked like a debut oh, he, play he, just he went down. Forward, yeah. And Kurt can catch too. We just haven't really seen it as often, but he don't mind. But yeah, but flaws in the. Uh, here we are. Yeah, we we we're back, guys. All right, let's roll. Yeah, despite all the issues that took place, we're back. We truly don't know how much time is left. Uh, the two minutes might be accurate. It might be accurate, but if it's looking like the way that it, that we think it is it's looking, so, I mean, they, they, I feel like there had to be a point between them. I think so too, buddy. So I and, think it's three um, one and going on four one if they can finish this off. Even if it is two one, it's about to be three one real soon. Oh uh, well, it's at least three one, guaranteed. You heard a JMU player say right before they kind of put this camera down saying, too easy. <laughs> I mean, that tells you all. I mean, that, multiple point win, that's pretty convincing. I mean, that pretty much tells you how they really feel towards yeah. GV. And I promise you, they're yeah. not, like I said, duct tape there, the duct tape down. Man. Like, everything's, everything's just been busted up at this point. Everything's been busted up, man. We we may have missed quite a bit of the action for sure, but we can definitely say with full confidence, very convincingly, that JMU gave Grand Valley their first loss of the season. Yep. And at least to say that uh, next power rankings, JMU will be two. <laughs> if JMU's not one, you just don't uh, like. I mean, it, and, and I can take two. Michigan State's been very good. Okay, so far, yep, but, yep, uh, yep. That might be the only team. Yep, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. They, they beat Ohio and Cincinnati. Handily. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That might be the one team that you could put above yeah. JMU, but if JMU is not within one or two, I, I I don't I don't I don't know what to say, man. Like you just you you either just don't like the Dukes or you just don't care. I, I don't yep. know what it is at this point. And mind you, Daniel and I, we're not from JMU. Okay, no. Daniel is is a proud Terrapin. He's yeah. a proud Maryland player. I'm I'm from VCU, Virginia Commonwealth University. <laughs> We just used to play on the East Coast. Um, you know, we just know JMU very well. Cause yeah. We play against them a lot of times. So there might be some East Coast bias, but we just believe that JMU is a legitimate team. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't really care about JMU. But we just going to tell you as it is because that's just how we are. But if folks don't put some respect on JMU name after this tournament, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to tell you then. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Like you just, you just don't care at this point, and and you're just in your feelings. Um, the one team that might have, you know, an argument against that would be Michigan State because it's like, hey, like we still haven't lost and we play yep. against quality opponents. So, but but best believe that um, best believe that GVs definitely have to go back. Go back to the workshop. Go back to the woodshed yep. and definitely iron some things out. Cause moving forward, they they ain't trying to take no more losses, for sure. They they'll be they'll be they'll be prepared. No, you you know they'll be back. They will be back. Lamar Jackson, big trust, big trust. Also, pay Lamar Jackson his money too, man. Quit playing, man. Seriously, pay my man his money. Yeah, just give him whatever he wants. <laughs> I'm about to say, since we talk about Cleveland quarterback, if Deshaun Watson get a guaranteed contract, yeah, I'm not saying you gotta give Lamar a guaranteed contract. I'm just saying you need to pay my man, cause y'all y'all wilding at this point. It is what it is. 
They're saying that Eli is the future of JMU. Well, I mean, he's a junior, so I may not sure he's a future. Noah might be the future because he's currently a freshman and the only freshman. But then again, JMU has done an amazing job recruiting players. Hey, Pesha D, there's something you can get on with. Hey. <laughs> That's right, Pay. Uh, hey, man, listen. Uh, hey, man, I want the blessing too, hey. man. Shoot, business. Cool. Shout out UVA there. Yeah, man. B business oh, been popping. Business Bro, been popping for me. East Coast coming out hot right now. East Coast riding high. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Like, the East Coast support is a real thing, man. When they see one of their own doing well, they they want to be they want to contribute. But, yeah, I'll definitely take the money, man, because I got some gigs coming up. They definitely going to pay me. So, yes, I will receive that blessing. Pay me, please. Then... But, and like I said before, those who know me really, really well, you know, when I get paid, now I can bring more people with me, you know, now we can do more cool stuff, you know, really try to help out, the, you know, the community. So when I win, we all win. So, yes, pay Lamar Jackson and pay me, man, because I need the money. <laughs> oh, man. Pay me, please. Yeah, now my man Cole, man, from UVA saying pay me. Listen, I appreciate it, man. I need the money, man. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you, man. But, um, yeah, I feel like James is definitely going to be able to come home very, very happy. Give Shadid the franchise tag. <laughs> man, not the franchise tag. Nah, I want the... Yeah, you you, you got to be a top five streamer and... Not the franchise tag. I mean, yeah, that's cool and all, but I want a multi-year contract, man. I'm trying yeah. to get that monthly retention, man. The con, the con, the the franchise tag. That's only good for one year, man. That's not stability. That's what Lamar Jackson is currently going through right now. He wasn't franchised, if I remember correctly, but he's on his last deal. That's why you're saying, pay me, give me multi-year contract, multi-year with big boy money. Yeah, fifth yeah, yeah, fifth year option. Yeah. We don't want him to get franchise tag. We don't want that. We want my man to get paid. Um But yeah, this but yeah, this has been good. This has been good. This is a really good showing from JMU. Um very convincing win. Yeah. Right? Very convincing win. Their last opponent is gonna be against Akron. And then after that, you know, they're gonna you know, they're gonna take the drive home from well, they probably will get something to eat. Then they're gonna take the drive home from Akron back to Harrisonburg, but very, very successful road trip thus far for JMU. Yep, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. That's right, Sam. That's right, Palumpo. Lamar Jackson got no agent. He does his own deals. Very unconventional, but hey, he has full control of everything, and he knows what his contract reads. So that Louisville education man coming in clutch. I almost applied to Louisville. You know, I want to go out there to Louisville. I've been to Lexington, Kentucky, you know, obviously for yeah. nationals, but yeah, Louisville is definitely another place I want to check it out for sure. They used to have a team that way back in the days, way, way back in the days. Yeah, Western Kentucky was big. Yeah, man, the Hilltoppers, man. Felix Perone was really leading that charge, a, a formal NC, NCDA president back when I was still in the league. But, yeah, man, no. It's just it's just uh, the Wildcats now from UK, last team in Kentucky, so... Who knows? We're building back up, though. There'll be more teams soon. Yeah, hopefully, man. Hopefully. It's it's good that Cincinnati was yep. able to form a team there that kind of bridges the gap a little bit. Um, yeah, and having uh, this new Wisconsin team and yeah, uh, University of Illinois as a team now, too. Hopefully yeah. that they'll be consistent. Yeah, that's definitely going to help out the Central region quite a bit, for sure. Yeah. 
this point doesn't matter. This point doesn't matter. Um, it's it's kind of like a foregone conclusion at this point. Clock is not even a factor, which is kind of weird. James is kind of chilling at this point. I know Leo is surprised that James is winning. See, that's why we gotta help people understand what's going on, man. Like, I don't think anyone on the East Coast is surprised. No one on the East Coast is even remotely surprised. Not even a little bit. We was kind of like. This could happen if James yeah. plays the way they're supposed to play. We caught a lot of flack for that, but we we know what we're talking about. We won't just say sub just because Man. it sounds cute. Number seven was disrespectful, though. <laughs> he was mad disrespectful. <laughs> that was disrespectful. <laughs> I felt that off my chest, man. Like, sometimes you can just say a lot just by how you throw a dodgeball. God, his glasses. Okay, he's not out, but make sure you get his glasses, man. Like, don't do not do my man like that. The old JMU's team was would have gave my man a headshot. Just, I'm just telling you as it is. That's not a personal feeling. That's, that's a fact. Oh, no glasses? You're blind? Boom, headshot. Now you can get your glasses. And you can go out, too, at the same time. 30 seconds left. 